Afternoon everyone and welcome to RTR TV. Uh, it's, uh, I'm in the, at home and which obviously means I'm going to do an experiment in the garden. But it's Jubilee weekend. There's so much noise going on out there at the moment. Um, you know, you probably wouldn't hear what I'm saying, but um, we're going to go out and join in in a sec. But what we've got is Asda's own bucket grill and palatina, whatever a palatina is. That expert grill. So we got we always had a fire bucket, we always used a fire bucket. And this is what's left <laughs> my old fire bucket. Yeah, it's uh seen better days. We must have had this about 20 years, so when we saw as there was doing new ones, we thought we'll have one of them. We'll have one of them. Let's see how long this one lasts. But we're gonna set it up, get some wood going in it. Got some charcoal briquettes we're going to chuck on and got some burgers and hot dogs and got some corn on the cobs as well so basically we're doing what they're apart from the tomatoes and peppers but yeah let's go and set this thing up get it going so so here it is leave it at oh his head well modelled by Mrs. RTR, so we just had to took the wrapping off, and inside you get the legs. Yeah, very useful. That's for the barbecue, obviously. Ah, it's not what I was seeing. There's no holes in it, is there? Is that going to work? There's no actual air going. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we should read the instructions, but obviously. Yeah, surprised at that. I thought there would be some sort of undervent. <laughs> Ed. Eddie. Cheers. Happy Jubilee. So, let's get this thing set up. You got these legs here. That I assume I assume will go into this. There you go. Get the legs in. Don't think these tabs will last too long on here. Carbon monoxide hazard. Do not use in a house or in close spaces, obviously. Mono monoxide poisoning fatality. That's about all I can make out on that. But that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> you don't need any more information than that. Yeah, people having parties. <laughs> it's that time. And one more. I just dropped on the floor. Do you like my derelict shed? no roof on it. <laughs> roof collapsed. There's only a load of junk inside so I'm not that bothered. Oh this one's a little stiff of a bit. There we go, all the legs are on. And you've also got the uh, grill of course. And that just clips on these things might have been better by having spectacles on. Well, that's not very good. A bit on the wide side. I'm gonna have to uh, close that in a bit. Try and make it. Yeah, it should be better. There we go. Coated as well. That one. Right, let's get a fire going. So here, here's on the floor, it's got a rather nifty handle you can lift it up with, so, although, I guess, if you're gonna lift it up when it's got a fire in it, you need some sort of glove. Well recommended. Yeah, so, let's get this bowl in there, so. There we go. I love seeing brand new things when you're about to burn them. 
Right, let's do it. So I'm going to use a lighter and a couple of the uh, twisted fire starters and some of the big K kindling that you may have seen me use before. Just to get it, I've got a bag of wood scraps over there. So, get it all going with that. I just want to see if it will burn. I might only need one of these, I'll try it with one. See what happens. Bit concerned there might not be enough air. But then again, if it's specifically for barbecues, I don't know. My original fire bucket was sold as a fire bucket. This isn't sold as a fire bucket, even though it looks like one. There we go. Look at these great big blocks. I'm gonna have to get the old axe out, chop them up. Well, I think it works. Like I say, some of these blocks are really thick, so get me old axe out, chop a few up. some of those charcoal bricks on there. I just want to burn it as a fire bucket to begin with for a little bit. See how it works. It works pretty good, I think. Nowhere for the ash to go though, so it will build up after a while, I guess. Let's get a nice big fire going. There we go, it's slowly going down. In it, Kerry. It Sorry, Mrs. RTR. Might have been a bit over ambitious, I think, about how much we can actually get on this grill. Do you agree? Let it do its thing. Mrs. RTR is taking control. As she always does. <laughs> we'll just roll them on the floor out of the way for now. Mind if they shrunk a bit, didn't they? Oh, look at all that lovely meat coming off there. I just wish I could grab hold of it. and uh, Shrunk a bit, so a bit more room now. Mm -mm. Seems to be working, doesn't it? in the smoking line. Ugh. Thing with barbecues, isn't it? Nothing stealth about it. <laughs> nice. The one roll I didn't cut. I cut all the others. There's one I didn't cut. Why? How would you do that? I don't know. I don't know what possessed me. Fresh burger. Hang on, I'm gonna go and get some special chutney. I'll take this roll in and cut it as well. Right, look. There's onions in there. I've got some devil fire chutney. I've got to, I can't really have onions with this. Because no. it's got onions, peppers, and orange. What a veil. Mm. Handmade in Devon, so I'm gonna have that in one of my burgers. Oh. oh, do you know what? Do you know what? I wish I filmed that. I'll take over, I'll do it, it'll be fine. My cheese just rolled off my burger into the fire. I don't know why she's laughing. I'm not laughing, am I? Oh, it's funny. 
you just drop my cheese into the uh, <laughs> fire? <laughs> Another bit on for you. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be burnt by then. Hang on, I'm gonna turn this around because this is a, this is comical. There so the cheese ended up in there. Unbelievable. That'll do. I'm trying not to drop the. Okay. I was trying to catch that on film. Got no idea about filmmaking, have you? No, because I'm not interested in filmmaking, am I? <laughs> Let's get a bit of this chutney going. I did just try a bit. Very nice. And here we go. Mm-mm. even though it's upside down. You put the burger on the top bit. Do you know what a faux pas it that is? It tastes the same. No, it's upside down. It tastes the same. It tastes upside it down. Tastes, you put the burger on the upper bit. It tastes the same. No, it doesn't. It does. Because different bits hit your palate. It's upside down then. <laughs> Can you hear what she's saying here? Comments down below, please. It tastes the same. Well, let's see, you've got to eat it the right way, haven't you? It's going to rain soon. It tastes the same. And the upside down. Street party. Oh. But anyway, look at this. Lovely that was. Well done, Mrs. Rob the Vova. She did well, didn't she? Was he moaning just now that I've got it all wrong? <laughs> well, it's not that you got it wrong, it's just a faux pas, isn't it? It's just not the done thing to put the actual burger on the. I oh, did. I had both fast. You, you went the wrong way. It's, it's easily done. Easily done. Easy done. I'm not going to uh, hold it against you for very long. Very very hot. Oh, it, it is hot. I think it's done, Kerry. I'm, I'm just t testing out the corner of the cob, but I think put it on there. It is done. We need to get the uh, screwy in bits that go. Screwy in bits. That's my daughter. Who doesn't want to be on film? <laughs> mm -mm. All on the top. You think I put two bits of onion on your, <laughs> on your, yeah. in your burger? Yeah, I did. What sort of stingy do you yeah, take me for? God. <laughs> two bits of onion. Yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. Fettle to perfection. Mm hmm. Nice With lashings of butter. Yeah. You want to see me get bits of my teeth. And we will end up with bits in our teeth. <laughs> so these two burgers are not quarter pounders, are they? No. Nope. It matters not. I think we've proved that this thing works quite well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Cut the corn on the cob to a turn. Good old Asda. On this one, Kerry. On this one, please. Oh, that looks really pathetic. That does look sad, actually. <laughs> look at that. Looks a bit sad. Not a quarter pounder, see. Oh well. Let's get some of the relish going. So there you go. Look, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Done the job, didn't it? Mm -hmm. 
probably still cook some more on there. Oh yeah. Still lots of heat coming off of that. Maybe move the camera back a little bit. <laughs> There was probably too much wood in there to begin with, though. Definitely. I didn't load it properly. Oh, you should load a barbecue. Nope. <clears throat> Just relied on the wood to get it going, but it's it too much. I did it half assed yes. Mm. half assed That's because I've had... That's how it should be when you start cooking. Yeah, I know, but we were impatient, weren't we? Hungry. You were impatient. You were hungry. Yeah, but you should have been like, oh. But... Anyway, it worked. Didn't it? Can't even remember what I bought. Well, I've had some drinks, haven't I? Because it's Jubilee time. Anyway, look, this is what I bought. The owner's manual, the portable bucket grill, that's what it was. And uh, as the spec code, as the zone bucket grill. Could be used as a fireball, I think. If you just want to use it as a fireball, great. But if you want to use it for a barbecue, then maybe don't have a fire in it to begin with <laughs> but anyway thank you for watching the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and all that what are you laughing at this is what youtubers do anyway see you, see you next time bye <laughs> what are you laughing at <laughs> i've never seen you do that before what's all this do you do yes. that in the videos i've never I don't seen know. you do that before don't forget to thumbs up. I've never seen you do that. No, anyway, there you go. <laughs>